Hello to all our beautiful brave hearts. I just thought I would share with you um, my journal. So this is a journal that I made the very first night with you guys. Um, as you can see, I've added lots more to it. You can see that I've done some hand stitching. Um, they're like little roses, I believe with embroidery thread. Um, I've dyed some lace and put it along the bottom. I put my signatures in with ribbons, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I also have some dingle dangles. I made some feathers with some dingle um, dangles. Um, I pulled a piece of jewelry apart that I had and I made a little latch, which I'll show you how that works in a minute. Um, so as I think I said when I um, showed you in the video on Friday, I decided to do the chakra. So I'm doing the, the colors of the chakra. Um, I put our little creative warriors um, tattoo at the front and then I found this really cool saying that says this is all part of the process of unbecoming to become which I thought that was a great way to start my journal and then all of my signatures then go in the color of the chakra so for the very first one I talk about the root which is the first chakra um, and then I've started to create some pages so this is just a napkin a Frida napkin um, this is just a tattoo and then I like to do a lot of handwriting so my first quote was feet what do I need you for when I have wings to fly so that was the first page in the root chakra and then I did um, a Lisa's class um, I sort of went a bit crazy with the texture paste and the gold and then I didn't really like how it turned out so I turned her into a bit of an afro and I'm I'm sort of going to do some gold halo around her, so she's not quite finished. Um, I upcycled with a piece of jewellery for her face, and I used metallic and crackle, if you can see that in her skin. Um, and then you can see here, I've just added some more little tattoos. I added my quote, and these are my tie-dye bits of paper. So I only used bits of the tie-dye. I didn't use all of the tie-dye. Um, so that was the first signature and then this again is a tattoo on a piece of fabric so I'm just I'm sort of blending it all through my signatures. Um, this was Tammy's first class so pretty much did exactly what um, Tam did but my version and then we get to the second signature which is the um, um, the sacral um, shaka so that's orange um, and then I've just put this little up by Marlene Gurley. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this page, but I really liked her. So in she went. Um, you can see I've sewn some orange sari silk on here. Then we get to the third chakra, which is the solar plexa, and that's yellow. And I actually did um, Michelle's class in this section. So I thought that fitted really well with that section. Um, and then I have this cute little girl here that says, when you can't decide what color to wear, wear them all, which sometimes I do. <laughs> um, then I did Annette's class. So um, similar to Annette's, but I added some florals that I really like, they're like vellum stickers. And I added some butterflies, some colored ones, and just a few of Annette's because I, I was just a bit lazy and didn't want to color all the butterflies in. Then we get to the fourth chakra, which is the heart, and that's green. So I've got like a little heart on my tag. I don't think I've did any of my green yet, so maybe that's going to be a tomorrow job. But as you can see, I've got lots of different things in here, lots of threads, lots of, um, this is some really cool embossed um, wallpaper. Then we have the fifth chakra. And my blue tags I keep going. I haven't done any in the blue either, I don't think. Um, then we have the the six, which is the third eye, and that's the indigo type color. So um, I've done a little bit in that one. That's still drying. That's why I have my paper there. And I haven't got any done in this one either, I don't think. And then the seventh is the purple, which is the crown. And I have... Temi's second class in this one and as you can see I have sort of did it similar but I also added some big feathers up the top and I have the quote that says she was a wild one always standing on eggshells 
everyone else trod on. Uh, yeah, so um, that is what I've done with my journal. You can see I've got the tattoo drawn on the back and then this little latch closes. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight to what I'm doing with my junk journal. Um, and then tomorrow I'll put a little video up of my... T Actually, no, I'll do it now because tomorrow I'm at work and then I have to go out for the afternoon. So this is my little tag journal. So I just have a little piece of elastic on it. So I'm just going to pull that off. One-handed, sorry. Uh, and I have like Team Braveheart. So you can see it's just with little wooden letters. And my resin wings, which I've painted. And then I have like a little metal heart. And I have a little saying that says, art is a way of living. And my very first page says connection is why we are here it gives us purpose and meaning to our lives so i thought that was really cool for page one then page two i have the eternal quest to pursue with passion and persistence the spark of the joy that lights your creative soul um this is really cool i love the feathers you can't ignore the calling any longer and this one's just very basic i've just used some um little um, rubber stamps um, let me be a feather, strong with purpose, yet light at heart, able to bend and though I might become frayed, able to pull myself together again. So that was a pretty, a pretty deep quote that I really love. Then of course, there's my little doll. So she has like a little set of wings and some rub-ons and this is me on the other side. So she's double-sided and I just have like the third eye sort of keeping the theme of the chakra. Then I have this little tag that pulls out that says, our wounds are often the opening into the best and most beautiful parts of us, which I think is a really good saying. Um, so I'm just gonna tuck my little girl back in there and she fits pretty cutely. And this one, I have sort of like an arrow theme happening. It's not quite finished, but my quote says, don't look back, remember you're not going that way, which I think is a really cool quote. Um, and this one is, I have some like little acetate flowers and I just have flowers grow out of dark moments. And I sort of kept the blossom theme going because it was the double page. And it just says here, uh, like wildflowers, you must allow yourself to grow in all the places people thought you never would. And then I have like a vintage stamp with some Van Gogh flowers, which I thought was pretty cool. And this was a Dina Wakely, her new uh, tissue papers. And I've just put the little quote from our um, affirmation sheet or the affirmations, don't dim your light to fit in, which I thought was a pretty cool affirmation. On the back again, I have our little tattoo. And then we start with the other side of the journal. And this one is pretty much just a napkin. And it's just, I put the straight napkin straight on and it just said, friends feed the soul, which I thought was cute. And then this one is my heart. Listen to your heart. And this one says, you must listen to your heart and follow it or it will find a million ways to remind you that there is something missing. So I thought that was a really cool quote. Then the page eight has this little cute little wooden bird. And the quote says, if, um, if you have to fly, give up everything that way. Um, if you have to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. So I thought that was a pretty good saying as well. And then my last page, I did the double. I just did, I am divine, intuitive, expressive, loved, powerful, creative, and safe. And they are all um, powerful words from the chakra. So I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration um, to... Um, creating just little tiny little albums that can sometimes be um, the cutest and, and most creative. So I really like that one. So I hope you've all had a great day. Catch up with you tomorrow. I hope you're all working on your little album and your little warrior doll. 
and I hope I've inspired you to get a little bit more done. Okay, bye.